relative clauses i returned from kolkata yesterday the girl traveling with me was very troubled why she lost a bag that had important documents what did she do then she wanted to know where to lodge a complaint did you help her yes i took her to the policeman who was on duty in the dialogues shravan and aman have used relative clauses with who where that etc and also ing clause to express themselves here are examples of relative clauses the girl traveling with me was very troubled she lost a bag that had important documents she wanted to know where to lodge a complaint i took her to the policeman who was on duty definition a clause is a part of sentence there are two types of relative clauses in some cases the relative clause tells you which person or thing or what kind of person or thing the speaker means a relative clause can begin with who which where whom whose whom or there can also be ing or ed clauses etc let us look at a few sentences the students who scored full marks were given awards the boy involved in the robbery was taken away by the police there was only one boy in the class whose uniform was perfectly clean in the first sentence who scored full marks is a relative clause we use who in a relative clause when we are talking about people in the second sentence involved in the robbery is an ed relative clause as it has a passive meaning and tells you which person in the third sentence whose uniform was perfectly clean is a relative clause and tells you which person whose has been used here since we are speaking about people here are few more examples of relative clauses the lady whose purse is brown is my landlady romi bought a dress from the shop which sudha had recommended relative clauses clauses with who that or which do you know any charitable hospital there is a doctor in our colony who does not take any money for poor people where is his clinic his clinic is near the shop that sells musical instruments is it the one which has a bigger guitar on its door yes have you ever visited the doctor yes i had a maid who had some problem in her throat the doctor treated her and did not take any money i will take my maid there too then thanks in the dialogues rachna and varsha have used relative clauses with who that which to express themselves here are examples of sentences using relative clauses with who that which there is a doctor in our colony who does not take any money from poor people his clinic is near the shop that sells musical instruments is it the one which has a big guitar on its door i had a maid who had some problem in her throat definition a clause is a part of sentence a relative clause tells us which person or thing or what kind of person or thing the speaker means we use who in a relative clause when we are talking about people not things we use who instead of he or she or they when we are talking about things we use that or which not who in a relative clause that is more usual than which let us look at a few sentences the boy who lives next door is a good singer the book that is kept on the table is very interesting the bag which has a blue strap is mine In the first sentence who lives next door is a relative clause who has been used here since we are speaking about people 
In the second sentence, that is kept on the table is a relative clause. That has been used here since we are speaking about what kind of a thing. In the third sentence, which has a blue strap is a relative clause. Which has been used here since we are speaking about what kind of a thing. Here are few more examples of use of relative clauses with who, that, which. The girl who is serving food is very beautiful. The rest. Relative clauses, extra information clauses. The girl who was giving the lecture is a doctor. The lecture that she delivered was very interesting. What was the topic? The topic was new medical practices which everyone found informative. All the medical college students who attended the lecture really liked it. In the dialogues, Hina and Rama have used two types of relative clauses to express themselves. Here are examples of two types of relative clauses. The relative clause tells you which person or thing or what kind of person or thing the speaker means. The girl who was giving the lecture is a doctor. The lecture that she delivered was very interesting. The relative clauses that gives us extra information about the person or thing. The topic was new medical practices which everyone found informative. All the medical college students who attended the lecture really liked it. Definition A clause is a part of a sentence. There are two types of relative clauses. In some cases, the relative clause tells you which person or thing or what kind of a person or thing the speaker means. In other sentences, the relative clauses do not tell you which person or thing the speaker means. We already know which thing or person is meant. The relative clause is these sentences give us extra information about the person or thing. Let us look at few sentences. The name of the girl whom I like is Cindy. My sister Avni, who is a surgeon, practices in Mumbai. In the first sentence, whom I like is a relative clause where whom is used for a person and is used as an object of the verb. In this case, the relative clause tells you which person or thing or what kind of a person or thing the speaker means. In the second sentence, who is a surgeon is a relative clause where who is used for a person. The relative clause in this sentence gives us extra information about the person or thing. Here are few more examples of these two types of relative clauses. The teacher whose dress is blue teaches us English. Harry stayed at the Savoy Hotel which Belinda had recommended. Relative clauses Clauses with or without who, that, which The girl who I interviewed yesterday was very intelligent. So have you appointed her? She performed better than all the other candidates who I interviewed. She answered all questions that I asked brilliantly. Then you don't need to hold any more interviews. Do guide me on the process which you followed. I will surely help you. In the dialogues, Shraddha and Anoop have used relative clauses with or without who, that, which, to express themselves. Here are examples of sentences using relative clauses with who, that, which and the same examples of relative clauses without who, that, which. The girl who I interviewed yesterday was very intelligent. The girl I interviewed yesterday was very intelligent. She performed better than all other candidates who I interviewed. She performed better than all other candidates I interviewed. She answered all questions that I asked brilliantly. She answered all questions I asked brilliantly. Do guide me on the process which you followed. Do guide me on the process you followed. Definition 
A clause is a part of a sentence. A relative clause tells us which person or thing or what kind of a person or thing the speaker means. You must use who, that, which when it is the subject of the relative clause. Sometimes who, that, which is the object of the verb. When who, that, which is the object, you can leave it out. Let us look at few sentences. The girl who my brother likes is extremely pretty. The girl my brother likes is extremely pretty. The book that I am reading is very interesting. The book I am reading is very interesting. I gifted the bed cover which I bought last week to my friend. I gifted the bed cover I bought last week to my friend. In the first sentence, who my brother likes is a relative clause. Who has been used here since we are speaking about people. Here who is the object of the verb, so it can also be left out in the clause as in the second sentence. In the third sentence that I am reading is a relative clause. That has been used here since we are speaking about what kind of a thing. Relative clauses, extra information clauses too. Kajal, to whom I spoke last night, showed much interest in our project. What did she say? She wanted to know more details. Man, who she works for, can provide us with requisite finances. Also, the place to which she belongs is perfect for our project. So, did you give her the details? Fortunately, I had our project papers without which things could not have moved in our favour. That is excellent news. In the dialogues, Shubham and Vani have used relative clauses which provide extra information to express themselves. Here are examples of sentences using relative clauses which give extra information. Kajal, to whom I spoke last night, showed much interest in our project. The man who she works can provide us with requisite finances. Also, the place to which she belongs is perfect for our project. Fortunately, I had our project papers, without which things could not have moved in our favour. Definition A clause is a part of a sentence. A relative clause tells us which person or thing or what kind of a person or thing the speaker means. Some relative clauses gives us extra information. In extra information clauses, you can use a preposition before whom, for people and which for things. So you can say to whom or with whom, about which or for which etc. In spoken English, we often keep the preposition after the verb in the relative clause. When we do this, we normally use who, not whom, for people. We can say all of or most of etc. plus whom or which. In the same way, you can say none of or neither of or any of or either of plus whom, people. None of or neither of or any of or either of which things some of or many of much of a few of plus which things some of or many of or much of or a few of whom people both of or half of each of or one of or two of etc plus whom people both of or half of plus each of plus one of or two of etc plus which things let us look at a few sentences. Relative clauses, clauses with whose, whom, where. Yesterday I met a man whose car had broken down on the main road. Did you help him? I guided him to the garage where you got your car overhauled last week. That garage is very far away. You could also have sent him to the man whom we took our bike to then it broke down suddenly. Do you mean the man whose automobile repairing shop is just round the corner? Yes. 
I did not know he repaired cars too. I thought he repaired only bikes. In the dialogues, Tulika and Jasmeet have used relative clauses with whose, whom, where to express themselves. Here are examples of sentences using relative clauses with whose, whom, where. Yesterday I met a man whose car had broken down on the main road. I guided him to the garage where you got your car overhauled last week. You could also send him to the man whom we took our bike to when it broke down suddenly. Do you mean the man whose automobile repairing shop is just round the corner? Definition A clause is a part of a sentence. A relative clause tells us which person or thing or what kind of a person or thing the speaker means. We use whose in relative clauses instead of his, her, their. We use whose mostly for people. Whom is possible instead of who when it is the object of the verb in the relative clause. You can also use whom with a preposition, to whom, from whom, with whom, etc. But we do not often use whom. In spoken English, we usually prefer who or that or nothing. You can use where in a relative clause to talk about a place. Let us look at a few sentences. The name of the girl whose book I have borrowed is Linda. The man with whom she fell in love left her for someone else. I want to live in a city where there are good education facilities. In the first sentence, whose book I have borrowed is a relative clause. Whose has been used here since we are speaking about people and using it in place of her. In the second sentence, whom she fell in love is a relative clause. Whom is used here with the preposition with. In the third sentence, where there are good education facilities is a relative clause. ING and ED clauses Have you seen anyone going down the road? Yes, I just saw a girl walking down this road. Did she take a taxi from that corner? Yes, and the taxi hired from that corner was white in colour. I think the taxis moving on this road will go till the resort near the beach. Yes, you are right. In the dialogues, Tanvi and Vanya have used ING and ED clauses to express themselves. Here are examples of sentences using ING and ED clauses. Have you seen anyone going down the road? Yes, I just saw a girl walking down this road. Yes, and the taxi hired from that corner was white in colour. I think the taxis moving on this road will go till the resort near the beach. Definition A clause is a part of sentence. Some clauses begin with ing or ed. We use ing clauses to say what somebody or something is doing or was doing at a particular time. When you are talking about things and sometimes people, you can use an ING clause to say what something does all the time, not just at a particular time. ED clauses have a passive meaning. Let us look at a few sentences. All the boys working in the library were given small gifts by the principal. Vehicles moving on this street are always struck in a jam. All the people involved in the accident were not seriously hurt. In the first sentence, working in the library is an ING relative clause as it tells what somebody is doing at a particular time. In the second sentence, moving on this street is again an ING relative clause as you can use an ING clause to say what something does all the time not just at a particular time. In the third sentence, involved in the accident is an ED relative clause 
as it has a passive meaning. Here are few more examples of use of ING and ED clauses. The boys riding on those fast bikes met with an accident. The goods manufactured in her factory are of poor quality.